Hi guys, uh, welcome back to a new tutorial of uh, ROS2 Movie to version. So in this video, we are going to see how to configure the UR5 robot URDF format to configure with the movie package to do the trajectory and motion planning. So using a KDL and KPL algorithms to do the trajectory planning stream using inverse kinematics. So from this video, we will understand how to configure the URDF format with the uh, movie and then and then the steps which are going we, we are going to follow you can do it with your own your idea format of a robot manipulator and you can uh, easily control your robot in the simulation and also in the uh, hardware based and robot the real world robot from the movie to the like in serial connection so you can use the arduino or you can use a esp32 using a micro ROS and you can control your manipulator from your system like in uh, your system you can do the trajectory planning and those parameters and those things will be shared between your controller and from controller to your server motors in the robot arm so you can uh, get from that like uh, we'll see in the uh, part how the ROS controller is going to work so first we'll start with an uh, video so I already uh, cloned this uh, UR underscore description from the official website of uh, UR robot so this is your format we need to clone and then uh, enter it ROS to launch move it setup assistant dot launch so it will launch the UI of uh, move it configuration so go to the browser and uh, navigate to this uh, UIDF format so then uh, load so after loading you can see that uh, the UR5 robot is appear in the window so this is an uh, UIDF file So then after uh, self uh, collision so this is like what the use case of this self collision means if you are going to do any planning uh, or if you are going to do any trajectory planning with your manipulator if it is colliding between itself or it's it's collide between its own part it will be damage itself right so for from prevent from that we'll use this collision matrix and damping the 10,000 uh, higher values than 10,000 so the 10,000 uh, planning will be happen and how it's going to collide it's not colliding or uh, those things will be uh, taken by the self collision matrix so the like uh, for example it's a preventive so if your robot is going to plan any uh, pack, uh, pick and place operations from A to B location so it's going to plan and it's going to pick and place but if your robot arm is collide between its own part it will damage itself right so that's one point of using the self collision matrix and then uh, uh, the safety and uh, flexibility so like uh, it, it will be ensure that there is no any collision collision, collision between uh, your uh, robot manipulators and the uh, realistic and executable uh, without uh, causing harm to the robot arm so that's one point you can take without causing harm to the robot arm flexibility executable without uh, harm to uh, your robot arm so that's a point so creating this you can uh, click this generate the collision matrix and it will be generate uh, with the parts so base link which is uh, adjacent and the camera is in a never adjacent so the these things will be created by uh, uh, that uh, generate the collision matrix then the virtual join so go to the add a virtual join and give your five underscore robot so then the parent is basically so then save it so next planning group so add a plan so here you can give the ur5 underscore of so then planning group is I am going to give KDIL kinematics plugin so it is an inverse kinematics algorithm for uh, doing the trajectory planning so then after go to the add a chain and here select the world and then click this arrow marks upper uh, underscore arm link and rest link rest link so the tool and selected this so then save it go to the robot pose estimation add a pose so then I am giving a home pose so this is for like uh, predefined uh, pose estimation like home position you can give the sleep position and any other uh, pick and place operation which is going to be uh, doing a same repeating process so these things you can use this pose estimation I am giving the home first and then I am moving the robot on you can see in the window right 
So using this uh, joint state publisher you can move the robot on. So I am giving the home position and I am going to save this part. So save it. So then uh, we can add another position like sleep. So here uh, we can add uh, Okay, this is sleep position. So you can see well uh, it's colliding between one and another, right? So robot is collision state. So if if uh, it's adding or it's collide between its own part, it will be indicated. So this is a use case of a collision matrix. So then we save this uh, sleep one. So the end effector uh, we can give if you need it. If you're using end effector. You can give the end effector which you, you can use this add end effector and the pa passive active joints. So here uh, this uh, rest uh, joint is in uh, 3 is in uh, passive joint. So you can give this and this is active joint and this is also active joint. Elbow joint is active, the shoulder left joint is active and shoulder pan joint is active. So these are active joints. This only one is uh, passive joint. You can give the passive joint as well. So this is an uh, ROS2 underscore control for URDF. So if you are going to control your robo in a gazebo world, you can use this ROS2 underscore URDF. So you can give the velocity and these things, command interface. Okay. So this is a known of the part. If you are going to control your robo, uh, robot in the real world also, you can use this. So if you are going to control the real world robot or uh, digital twin process, I already wrote on blog about Interpox robot, how to control and how to manipulate in the Isaac sim to the real world, like a digital twin process in medium blog. I will give those links in my description. You can follow from that and you can, you can gain the knowledge from that, how to do the hardware and looping and how to interface your simulation robot with an hardware robot and how to do the digital twin process. These things you will get from that. Uh, exactly, you will get idea from that. Uh, the medium block. So if you are going to make a robot in the hardware and the simulation and you are going to do the trajectory planning in simulation to the real world, you can use this cross uh, to controller. So then after uh, movie control, if you are using, you can give the auto trajectory and the perception, uh, I am using a depth cam and you can give the perception point cloud and you need to give those things. So the launch file, I don't need this warehouse PD launch and set up those things I needed. So then after we need to give the uh, author name of Kabil and KB 2003 at gmail.com. So then, uh, sorry. Here we need to give. So we remove this one. So then uh, configuration, so here uh, we need to open a new file, go to the files and uh, navigate to UR file, that is your file. Okay, UR SRC. So then here uh, we need to create a new folder. So we create a new folder like a uh, new folder. So you are five underscore move it or underscore new underscore move it. Okay. So create and then go to this browse and uh, well navigate to the SRC folder and uh, go to this one and open it. And now now you can give the generate the package. So now it's generate right. So close this and make a call in build. Call in build. So then source install setup dot dash. So you are new. You are file new underscore movie. So enter into launch file and then launch demo demo dot launch okay. so it will launch the, your uh, fire robot in the RBS with the trajectory planning executions so now it's launch so here uh, you can go to the state position to the home which we give already the pre-post estimations and give the execute 
you can see that the robot is moving from that uh, initial position to the goal position and the sleep, sleep position now we can keep sleep right it's moving right so here the joints also you can use to move the robot so well uh, you will understand how to configure the UI5 robot UIDF format and how to use this in a uh, moving configuration and how to uh, simulate the robots and next video we'll see how to use the depth cam to pick and place the robot from uh, a vision based thing visual uh, vision based uh, algorithms and uh, open cv to pick and place the object using a uh, depth cam and arco marker things so thank you subscribe the channel we'll see in next video